All right, let's jump on and start inputting codes. Let's see. E. G. G. S. The eggs cheat will now double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. But again, does that apply to just the blue eggs or all eggs? Let's, uh, see. Well, I currently have the standard number of all of them right now, so, uh, let me see if I can find some eggs and we can answer this question, hopefully. Here's some. Alright, I'll take, uh, fire eggs. I still have 50. Okay, let's try it again, this time with blue eggs. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. There we go. Wait for the one. Oh! And I still have a hundred. Uh, am I missing something here? Why is my egg count not going up? Let's go back and see what's going on here. Let's uh, see if the board has anything to say. You can use this menu to view or change the status of the cheats you have earned. What? Oh, uh, what the? You have to turn them on and off? I didn't even notice that my feather count wasn't doubled. So yeah, turn that on, and turn this on. Okay, so by default they are set to off and you have to turn them on here. <laughs> I love how nobody bothered to tell me that. Hi. Alright. Just make sure. Oh. Well, I'm sure that addressed it. But, yeah. Okay. Panning any... Uh... Panning any more... Craziness like that. Let's go ahead and take care of the next item of business. Okay, if I am not mistaken, I believe we have some honey hive, honeycomb heart pieces we can exchange. I'm Honey Bee. I'll trade you extra energy units. Who, yeah, we know that. You have enough honeycombs for one extra energy unit. Oh, I wouldn't I? Here, take them. Here's your extra energy. And just like that, we are now up to a 8-point energy bar, and now she wants 7 honeycomb heart pieces for another one. I'm not sure if I'll be going uh, much beyond number 8. This is about where I was in Banjo-Kazooie. But, because yeah, 7 honeycomb heart pieces are going to be kind of tough to come by. Oh. And as long as we're at the plateau, there's something else I'd like to test. This rock here looks breakable. And sure enough it is, and that's where the Jinjo was. That's the fourth purple one of eight. And yeah, we still can't get to those notes. Alright. And let us move on to the next item of business. Yes, we have another move that we could have learned right before... The Pterodactyl Land. Yeah, it was in this area. We just walked right past it after the Klungo fight. I, I guess I just didn't notice it because it was way the heck over here. But we noticed it now, so let's see what we're missing out on. Clockwork Kazooie Eggs. The ultimate egg for you to hold a clockwork bomb that's what remote controlled. It's a big one. That'll be all. Dismissed. So it's remote controlled. We can carry 20 of them. Let's uh, give it a try. That's 
our fifth egg type. Use the control stick to move the bomb around. And detonate by pressing B. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Let's find something to blow up then. Okay, yes, I can still move the camera. Although it seems to be inverted. A jumps. After 20 seconds, it blows up on its own. Hmm. That gives me an idea on how I can handle those cavemen, but I'll deal with that another time. For now, let us move on. Following the trail, we come to a wall. Oh, that's a full energy restored. I don't need that right now, so let's not mess with it. Yep, bouncy shoes. And we just got the bouncy shoes in the last stage. We need to go up here. Milo Hags. Yes, here is the quagmire. This is where Grunty Industries should be. There it is. Let's open up the teleportal. <coughs> Yeah, we got all kinds of nasty things in this vicinity, don't we? Let's see. Here's the goal. Watch it, you. That's how you want flying? Let's see here. This looks like the primary entrance, and I see a Jinju up there. Looks like we could just jump up there. Oh dear god, they're not giving us multiple entrances, are they? That would be just awful. Yeah, I heard that this stage has a bit of a reputation to it. Uh, in that, that this is probably going to be the longest stage in the game. <laughs> and that has me a little worried. But we'll see what happens in due time. You're not going to turn into a ninja, are you? Yes, you are. Ugh. You jerk. I thought he was a little easy to get to, and okay, yeah, the red feathers cheat is working. And I'll assume the eggs to be as well. But for now, we move on to Grunty Industries. Let's just tackle this thing head on. Hey, buddy! There's the main entrance. <laughs> mm, doesn't seem to be opening. Oh well, let's leave. <laughs> no. No, we just look for a back door. This doesn't look healthy. Doesn't look like we should jump in it. Well, you came back in short order. Back from lunch? Let's try going up here. Hope we can jump that. I can't! Oh. Okay, yes, the water is bad, but not in the way I thought it was. Get across this. As long as I can make it to the edge, I can avoid getting bitten. So that's nice, at least. Whoa, is that a battery? Kill it, kill it, kill it! Um... Oh god, don't blow yourself up with your own egg! You just switch off of that. All that does is stun it. I don't think it can be killed. Well then let's just stay away from it. Uh, it's, don't land as 
that. Ugh, stay out of there! Whoa! That guy's all too happy to jump out and take a bite at us. Okay, we got a sidle wall here. Yeah, we know what's coming out here. Felt for that a few too many times. But this time we attack back! Too bad, we like that health. So far this area seems a bit linear. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about that. And yes, the feathers code has increased my gold feather count as well, so I have to imagine that it would have that the eggs code will work on the eggs as well. Short on battery power? Try looking here. One, above the world entry and exit. Two, floor two, guarded by tin tops. And three, floor two, near the electromagnetic chamber door. Four, floor three, near Mumbo's skull. So, these are batteries? These batteries are power sources? Ooh, that's a tall building. that up there. Uh, right, I guess we're still looking for a way in. Uh, well then. We didn't even make it inside and we're already dead. This is not good. <laughs> there must be a way inside. Oh, look at this. There was a ladder that could have more easily gotten us across. Hey, buddy. What is your deal? There must be a need for you. Oh, I see. That was a treble clef that was up there. Get inside. What's back there? Guess we better check it out. Oh, the back entrance, maybe? Well, we have things back here, so. I'll call it progress. <laughs> Maybe we have to go in the back door. And here we have a switch. Boy, that's a long trail. We've opened the top door, which reveals a red Jinjo. Oh, but... <laughs> okay, I see somebody's gonna have to stand on that button. Most likely Banjo. And we have a new shoe type. They appear to have suction cups on them. Sounds like a need for a new move. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Well, let's see what's over here. Look at the state of my overalls! I'll be in real trouble if I can't find a way out of getting them clean! So he's wishy-washy. Well... Well, I guess we'll see what we can do. Have you thought about maybe a washing machine? And maybe not be somewhere so polluted? No! Don't jump in the sludge! 
Anyway, let's try going up the stairs. Let's see if we can actually find a way inside the building. Emergency exit. This is the way to floor one. But we already found all one of the white Jinjos in this game, which means... I see through your disguise. Much as I wanted to try and avoid it, I was simply stuck on this for so long. I was like 30 minutes into my recording, and I'm not even in the entrance yet. So, I had to go to Game FAQs to find out how the heck we're supposed to get into the building. And apparently, the actual way you're supposed to get in <laughs> is through the train system. Those little, little buttons that we put. And here is where the button is. We have to activate it here. And that will open up the doorway to get inside the factory. So now we just have to travel to another level, take its train to here. And that's how we will get inside. And I assume something inside will allow the button, will allow the main entrance to be opened up. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And that's the extent of what I read from game FAQs. Basically, just a little something to get me going. You know, act make some actual progress into this stage. Anyway, I'll go ahead and jump cut over to another stage so that we can take the train inside. Back in a minute. So here we are at the train station in Glitter Gulch Mine, where we first fixed the train. Hopefully we'll be able to board here. I haven't actually used the train yet, so... Are you blind? Chuffy is right in front of you! Well, yeah, I can see that, so I guess we just have to jump inside one of the cars? Inside Chuffy's web. Find the train tunnel door switches in other worlds to enable Chuffy to travel between stations. Right, that's what we need to do. I, I think I came into the wrong car. <laughs> So let's go in here. Chuffy's cab. This is my train control pad. Okay. Go. Simple enough. You'll have to battle me before you go anywhere. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like it came from inside that boiler. Inside the boiler? What are they on about? Surely they don't expect me to walk in there. This is crazy. What? Walking into fire. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a jiggy. If only we were so lucky. Oh my god, it's old King Cole. Who dares enter old King Cole's boiler? I'm Banjo and this is Kazooie. <laughs> We want to use the train. In that case, I'll fight you for it. You're supposed to be a merry old soul, and also the conductor of this thing. <laughs> I did not come here expecting a boss fight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Oh, and they're gonna throw a time limit at us. Let's see how you cope with a little heat. Okay, don't stand on the hot stuff. Um, maybe we can cool you off with some ice eggs. Cool off that hot head of yours. No, great loss! I've still got another! You won't soon. I don't need arms to beat you! No, but they sure would help. Cool off, sucker! Perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. Buddy, you were the one who started this. Okay, perhaps I'll let you use my trade after all. But don't you dare hit anything. I've only just polished. And there was a Jiggy inside of him. And apparently we are now allowed to use the train. That was a pretty easy boss, all in all. And we got a Jiggy out of it, so that was pretty good. That's number 33. Now, does that count towards Glitter Gulch Mine? Yes, it does. That's number six for the stage. Alright, so now that we have permission to use the train, now that we've beaten up the conductor... <laughs> let's see how we make this thing go. Select a destination. Pterodactyl land? Nope. We're gonna go to Grunty Industries. Let's go, Chuffy! And take your useless car with you! And now we're at Grunty Industries train station. Very good. Let's go then. Whoa, hello, oil drum. Did the, that thing instantly respawn? Or were there two of them? I, I don't know. All I know is that we are now inside, and now we can actually make some forward momentum onto this stage. Assuming I haven't already chewed up enough time doing so. Let's get going, I just heard something respawn. Alert! Intruders detected! Activate the tin tops! The tin tops? Oh my! They're like little pods! Kill them! That didn't work! Rat right attack, rat! Ow! Let's try a projectile! No way! Ah! We need a good place to attack! Shoot out of the sky! Oh, okay, sure, sure. Freeze them in place, man. How about something with a little offense? Uh, explosions, maybe? Ah, you have to wait till they open up, because that's when they're weak. That's when they're exposed. And I don't think I need explosions to do it either. Oh god, they're just gonna keep spawning. Ah! Let's just get out of here. Uh. <laughs> okay, note to self, tin tops are bad. They're like tellies, except really, really bad. Excuse me, buddy. You're a lot more manageable. Oh. 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 
So there's the waste disposal plant. Access denied, apparently. Door has insufficient power to open. Battery required. Well, I know of one right outside. If we get out there and get it. Right, this is the first floor, so I imagine somewhere around here will be a switch to open the main entrance. Service elevator. We'll check that out momentarily. The workers' quarters. Oh god, not more of them. Well, at least they're nice enough to give them a bed. Why am I trying to go in the ladies' room? Well, we have a... We have a boy and a girl among us here, so... I don't know. <laughs> Quick, into the rareware fridge! <laughs> you can see Banjo-Tooie, Donkey Kong, rareware... Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, it's references galore on this fridge. And what do we have here? Just a sink? Okay, I don't know what the deal is with this room, and there's another one of those posters in the bottle's house. Oh, oh god! All the things to sidle on! Why a door? Ugh. Quick, what's going here? Hey, buddy! Please find a way! I'm getting my overalls clean. Another one of these guys? Except now you're inside. Wow, you must really be a fan of Mumbo and Humba. <laughs> Look at all this. I'm not sure, but this little smudge here almost looks like Whiz Pig from Diddy Kong Racing. We didn't find much here besides a, another one of these rabbits once their clothes cleaned. Seriously, don't they have a washing machine somewhere in Grunty Industries? Oh, oh look, here's another one. You also going to want your overalls cleaned? Yep. And what do you got here? What does this button do? <laughs> We have in here. Trash compactor. Clean up droids report to floor one. Well, that looks troublesome. I saw something come down. Need to know how far I can go without oh, that happening. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna make it across this. Come back when you have an idea. For now, let us move on. Hmm, it looks like we have the main entrance here. Yes, here it is. So let's see if there's a way to open it. Button, perhaps? Oh. We need Banjo and Kazooie to stand on these. So somewhere around here there must be a separation switch. Maybe in the rareware box? Well, there wouldn't be enough room for them both. 
So up we go. Oh, here it is. That was easy. Okay. Let's get Banjo down there. And Kazoo. And now the main entrance is opened. We do not need to rely on the train to get inside. And here's a warp pad. Uh -huh. The stage, for all intents and purposes, is now open. 